So welcome to part 6 of this series on LibreOffice Impress 7. In this part, I would like to tell you about a feature that I consider as the crown jewel of LibreOffice Impress and that feature is the Impress Remote. So if you click on Slideshow, you should see Impress Remote. Impress Remote, in a nutshell, permits you to do something really fantastic. When you're giving a presentation in front of an audience, you need to stand near your laptop because you have to advance your slides. So what Impress Remote does for you is that it converts your smartphone into a remote and you can walk around the hall, engage with your audience as you speak, and you can keep advancing your slides from anywhere inside that hall. Now, before I tell you a little bit more about Impress Remote, let me just tell you about a few important settings that you have to make sure before you can actually make this work. So you have to go to tools and then you have to go to options and you have to just come down and click on and expand LibreOffice Impress and click on general. So one of the most important things that you have to ensure is that the enable remote control checkbox is ticked. It is checked on. So by default it is, but then you have to make sure that you check this up and be sure that it is checked on. Next up, you have to click on LibreOffice and expand this and then come right down to Advanced and also make sure that the Enable Experimental Features is switched on. So these are the two important settings that you have to ensure before we proceed further. So once you have done this, you can just simply press OK. And now you are good to go to install your LibreOffice Impress remote. You need to download an app and install it on your smartphone. And then you can actually start controlling your slideshow while you are on the move. So let me just talk a little bit about the app and then we will see how this whole setup works. The LibreOffice Impress Remote app is available for both uh, Android as well as iOS and you can go to the Google Play Store and just simply search for Impress Remote or you can go to the Apple Store and search for the Impress Remote and you will be able to locate the app and then just simply install it. So when you install the Impress Remote app on your smartphone, your smartphone becomes a presentation remote and you can keep walking around in the presentation hall. You don't need to be glued to your computer to advance slides. You can actually use your smartphone to advance the presentation or go to any particular slide and your smartphone will just simply function like a presentation remote. So let me tell you a little bit about a presentation remote. A presentation remote is a small device that fits in the palm of your hand and you can take out this little USB stick and insert it into the USB port of your laptop or desktop. And what a presentation remote permits you to do is to then move around. Uh, you don't have to stand near your laptop to advance your slides. Uh, you can use these buttons and you can interact freely with your audience by moving around. But then it costs money. So the idea of uh, converting your smartphone into a presentation remote is a great idea. And for that, you need to download the app. And so let's know a little bit more about the app and how it works. So you can download the Impress Remote app from Google Play Store or the Apple Store and install it on your mobile phone. You will see an icon like this. All you have to do is to just click on this icon. Now there are two ways to connect. One is using Bluetooth. So if you can pair your laptop using Bluetooth. Otherwise, if your phone and your laptop are on the same network, you can just choose Wi-Fi, the mode that I'm using currently. And then you can just simply click. So you are going to um, see a code and it is saying that you have to go to slideshow. So in impress, just click on slideshow and then go to impress remote. And then just simply go ahead and type in the pin. And we are good to go. So let's now see 
how we enter the pin in Impress. So let me just show you what is happening on the LibreOffice screen when you're trying to connect your Impress remote. So you need to just come to Slideshow and then click on Impress remote. So what it does is it just opens up the screen. It is showing you the device that is trying to connect and it wants you to enter the pin. So I'm just going to enter the pin that is being displayed on my mobile device. And I can just simply come here and press connect. So the moment I do this, I'm now connected to my phone. And when I start my presentation, I can actually now move this presentation using my phone. I am just simply tapping my fingers on my phone and I'm moving my slides and showing the presentation. And I can also see the notes on my phone. So I'm just simply tapping. And as I keep tapping on my phone, on the slide that I see on my phone, I am in a position to move my slides. And I can then, as I was mentioning before, I can go back to a particular slide and just keep tapping on the phone. So as you keep tapping on the slide, the projection on the screen uh, changes. The slide keeps moving forward. Or if the slide has an animation, it will show you that particular animation. So this is a great device. Saves you a ton of money. And you can just simply connect either using Bluetooth or if your phone and the laptop is on the same Wi-Fi network, you can connect in the manner that I have just shown you. So this is a really wonderful device, probably the crowning glory for LibreOffice because using this device, you can then move around freely and interact with your audience in a very nice and engaging way. So you can start using your phone as a remote. You can move around and uh, just simply click on the slide. So not only you see the next slide or the slide that is being projected on the screen, you also see notes. So any notes that you have taken are available to you as you walk around and talk to the audience. So you can see the notes and you can just simply keep moving around. You have a few options. You can directly go to a particular slide. So you can revert back to a particular slide or move forward. Uh, what you can also do is you can pause the slideshow. Say, for example, if you wanted to not show anything on the screen and then directly interact with your audience, you can just press this button. So the screen will be blacked out. You can always come back here and restart the slideshow. You can have a timer. So you can start a timer and it will keep showing you how many minutes are left. So if you are time bound, you can keep a track of time here. So it doesn't show you time dynamically, but then what it does, it will just keep reducing the minutes. So every minute that has passed, it will show you uh, that a minute has actually passed. And you can also have a laser pointer. So when you click on this, you can act have a laser pointer on your slide. As you move your finger on your phone screen, a laser pointer moves on the, on the projector screen. Provides you with a tremendous amount of capability. So as you can see, the timer is uh, now showing 14 minutes left. So you have a sense of time also and you can keep reading from your notes. So this is a great tool that uh, one can use to move around and talk. And it acts as a presentation remote for free. So I hope this helps and using this uh, video tutorial, you can actually start making use of Impress Remote. Thanks a lot for watching.